Hi, it's Jeff, product expert with MedMart. This is the GoGo Endurance Li. We're gonna go over a few of the setups and it's how to customize the scooter for you. We already have a video on our site that does a great job of just looking at the overall scooter, but I'm gonna show you a few tricks of actually customizing the scooter for yourself. So one of them, as we already talked about in the previous video, is simply adjusting the tiller and make it easy. So I'm gonna show you one more time how you do it from the side view here. And it is easy to do um, if you're sitting in there, depending on your mobility. But literally loosening that, I can now bring the tiller either closer to me or further away from me, which makes gives me a little more leg room, a little more room depending on my, my situation. I talked about the ability also before of adjusting the arm width. Well, that's really easy to do when you first set it up. In the back here, there's actually little cotter pins that help kind of act as an extra anchor and security. And just by loosening this knob, I can now adjust to several positions. You just want to make sure that you line up one of the holes, so you still get the cotter pin in there. So even without this screw piece, you wanna make sure it's locked in place and that's for safety. So again, I can widen this as much as I need to up to point, but you wanna make sure that that last hole will fit in there with the cotter pin. And that way I can make it a little bit wider for myself and customize it a little more for me. Next thing I'm gonna show you now is how to get a little more height out of the seat. In our setup video, you see how tall I am. This is fairly comfortable, but let's say someone's a little bit on the taller side, closer to six foot, or even want just a little extra height to get off and on the chair a easier. So at this point, the chair is at about 22 inches from the ground or from the pedestal itself, it's about 16 inches. So there's actually a way of, of setting yourself up in the seat post to get about an extra inch and a half, inch and three quarters. Let me show you how to do that now. So you do have to move the battery to get to this. So now when I pull the seat off, pull the battery off, you notice there's a little cotter pin right here. This is in the lowest position right now. So if you notice I take it out, this is the highest post that's here. So basically there is one more spot here. I can also turn this and it gives me one more spot between that. Then it gives me one more bottom spot. So now if I drop this in with that facing forward and then find where that piece will fit into that. So now I've raised the post up about an inch and three quarter. And we're gonna check that right now. Now our seat to floor is about 23 and a half inches and the seat to the foot plate is about 17 and a half inches. So now I notice when I sit down, it gives myself a little more seat to floor height. It makes it a little bit easier for me to get up or if someone needs that extra little bit of height, that gives you by raising that seat up a little bit. Last thing I'm gonna show you on how to customize your GoGo Endurance is how to change the shrouds or the plastic pieces on this to change colors. We mentioned before that this is, comes in red, you have both pieces, um, or maybe you're just putting these on for the first time, but this is really easy to do in theory, but if you start looking at the, playing with the pieces, it's like, well, this doesn't come off as easy as I thought. So I read the directions and I wanna share this with you. So this first piece just kind of flips over and off the front. There's a little tab, so you kind of pivot that off of that. So now I'm gonna go with our gray. This just fits right here in front. You have to find a little tab where it goes into, which is right there. There's a little piece of Velcro in there. Just give it a little tap. And now that's secure. So when it comes to the pieces on the body, it's a little more difficult because you don't know what side the tab is on. But in instructions, they talk about a little hole on the bottom to make it easier to pop those up. So what you basically wanna do is reach underneath here, basically just push up and that piece pops right out and protects the tab and keeps it from breaking. So now I just take my new gray piece, pop it in there, give it a little push down to get that Velcro to pop in place, and you're good to go, and that's the color change. So let me go into the rest of them, and I'll show you one more spot in the battery too, it's a little more difficult. Now when it comes to the battery pieces, it gets a little more confusing because you look at it and go, how am I get my fingers underneath there? The key, and probably easier to do it with the seat off, but I'll show you with this on, is to actually take the whole battery off. And in the back, there's two little gaps right there to make it easy to pop these pieces off. Pop the new piece on, there's a little Velcro tab. Again, I'm laying that little tab up. So there you go, that's what it looks like with the gray in place. Easy to change out once you kind of know the hang of it. At first, it even stumped me because I wasn't sure, I didn't want to break those tabs. And that's the way to do it, to make sure you can pop those up, get them off easily, 
Now you can go silver, maybe in a couple months from now, I'm gonna go back to red or winter, summer, fall, you never know. You wanna change colors, it makes it super easy.